This panel will be about immigration and human trafficking. Uh, I should probably reverse the order of human trafficking and immigration because the two presenters, uh, the first two presenters, are not related to human trafficking, and the second two are not to immigration. Uh, I wouldn't spend too much time about um, uh, my own story. I am myself an uh, immigrant. But my immigration story was like entering a mall with air conditioning. It was very easy in the <laughs> So uh, I can't tell anything, anything uh, very interesting about my own story. But we are in times in which uh, a, German, a young woman is arrested by Italian police and uh, brought to jail. Uh, for violating uh, the orders given by uh, the Ministry of Internal Affairs uh, just to, on the charges of this violation and just to be released a couple of days after uh, as an Italian judge finds out that she was abiding by the laws of the sea she was rescuing, she was a captain of a, a ship and she was rescuing people in, in the open sea and so uh, the judge basically argued that she's not an Italy, she is uh, abiding by different laws, uh, different from the orders given by this Italian minister. Um, and we live in, in a time in which 39 dead bodies are found in a, in a truck in, uh, close to London, uh, and the police uh, thinks that they are Chinese people instead they are Vietnamese people, and uh, we also know because of social media, uh, that uh, one of the uh, persons, the uh, 26-year-old woman, texted his mother saying, uh, my trip uh, abroad uh, is not succeeding, uh, I am going to die because I'm suffocating and like that. Uh, we also live in times in which uh, Native Americans, so-called indigenous people of the United States, uh, counter protest against the white supremacists at the border with the American flag, claiming that that symbol there is more of their own than uh, the right to go back to Europe to the white supremacists that claim the European category of this country. So very troubling times, and so uh, uh, I am no expert on immigration and trafficking, but I would uh, really, really uh, eager to learn from scholars, practitioners, uh, activists who are working uh, um, on these subjects. So we have the perfect blend here today. Uh, with this conference, we wanted to bring together academics, uh, practitioners, activists, and we have the perfect uh, blend here. Uh, I will introduce you uh, Christina Dawkins uh, uh, quickly. Uh, she is representing A for Evolutionists, who is a project uh, that develops arts-based educational uh, projects to combat modern-day slavery. Uh, in the website, which is a beautiful one, I, I encourage you to, to take a look at the website, a4abolitions.org. Uh, Christina writes, there are more people living under modern-day slavery than they were at the height of the transatlantic slave trade. Uh, by partnering with local artists and educators, the Evolution Project creates pathways for empathy, learning, and action. Each Evolution Project consists of, consists of an artist, educator, and community partner. Together, they produce a project that addresses injustice connected to slavery and sharing with an empathic community. Uh, then we are going to have uh, Gobin uh, Hirani. Uh, he is the Dean of the School of Management of the University of Karachi in Pakistan and Professor of uh, 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 economics, economics. And uh, Professor Hirani is presenting about forced conversion. Uh, and then we are going to uh, have uh, Tatiana, correct me if I'm wrong, Shirazaki. Shirazaki. Uh, 
uh, presentation. Uh, Tatiana is working on immigration. Is a Brazilian and American immigration attorney. She has been researching immigration issues since 2014. Her primary research is on migrant children and policies to avoid child trafficking. She has been a volunteer at the southern U.S. border, working with mothers and children in Texas at Carnes Detention, Carnes Detention Facility and with asylum seekers in Guatemala. In Wisconsin, uh, she is based in Wisconsin, uh, she works with nonprofits and consistently visits immigrants <coughs> in a Dodge County detention. She is the past program coordinator for the University of Wisconsin Immigrant Justice uh, Clinic. And Tatiana hopes that her experiences will strengthen the University of Wisconsin tradition of welcoming diversity to the student quality at the law school. She believes in the empowerment of minorities to the knowledge of the law. Uh, last but not least, we have uh, Katie um, Rector. Um, she is a, a, a attorney and pro bono coordinator uh, at the Connecticut Institute for Refugees and Immigrants, as known as CIRI. Uh, CIRI is a statewide nonprofit organization that assists refugees and immigrants, uh, resolve legal, economic, linguistic, and social barriers so that they become self sufficient, integrated, and contributing members of the community. CIRI achieves this mission by providing a compassionate array of high quality legal, social, and educational policy and by promoting cross cultural understanding. Thank you.